Before demonstrating the effects of dopamine, the normal emptying of a non-caloric viscous meal is shown. The gastric body, the antrum, the pylorus and the duodenum are labelled. In the control experiments, saline is infused intravenously. After a non-caloric viscous meal, the antral waves are characterized by relatively deep constrictions, exerting a high propulsive force. When the wave moves over the middle of the antrum, the pylorus opens and chyme is delivered into the duodenum. A duodenal contraction follows the antral wave. The sequence of antral and duodenal waves is designated as antroduodenal coordination. The duodenal peristaltic waves start during the contraction of the terminal antrum. On the right, you see simultaneous recordings of motility. A2 is the middle of the antrum. A1 is the terminal antrum. P is the external diameter of the pylorus. The pyloric diameter decreases during the contraction. B is the duodenal bulb and D are recording sites of the duodenum. The simultaneous recording of motility and video fluoroscopy are helpful in illustrating the motor function. The tracings show details of contractions and fluoroscopy shows the effects on the luminal content. During contraction of the mid-antrum A2, the pylorus is widely open, as can be seen on the tracings. That is the emptying phase. During the contraction of the terminal antrum, the pylorus closes and a peristaltic wave starts at the duodenal bulb. This can also be clearly identified on the tracings. These events occur regularly.